Hey everyone, I wanted to just put in a few comments for you about thinking about doing this mask assignment, this masks for our times, um, and to think about it on a number of different levels. And there are a couple of different levels that I would encourage. One is thinking about the fact that masks are used in many, many cultures all over the planet. Um, and they're used for a lot of different reasons. Sometimes they're used as a kind of uniform or to identify a certain group of people or society. In some African cultures, they're, the masks uh, signify a kind of authority or kind of police person. Um, and uh, throughout time, uh, masks have been a way to communicate with gods with, in order to hopefully negotiate for um, better climate for crops, uh, better harvest results, um, safety from uh, various natural threats, all kinds of different uses for masks uh, in a spiritual practice of different kinds. So that's one way to think about it. Another way to think about it is that we're in a class in 3D design. And the question is, what can you do in, you know, to design your, your mask? You know, first of all, just blocking the face somewhere, like doing something, how much of your face will be visible or will none of it be visible? What will you do when you create your mask? Um, of course, the other thing is for our times, we need masks that protect us from uh, COVID. So it is it's really the first time uh, in uh, I can remember that our culture has needed in the United States needed mandated masks. So when you do it, you do want to make something that you can be safe in because I want you to go then take pictures of yourself out in the world in your masks. Um, and I thought I'd show you a few that I have come up with. And perhaps that will um, spark something or give you some ideas, but I really encourage you to play with the three-dimensional, get, get your pieces out into space um, to the degree you can. Here, uh, I would say you can always take care of the concern about is it safe or not by putting on something that you know gives you the protection you need. And nowadays, uh, there, there are a lot of re recommendations for double masking because of the British variant, which is now um, getting more ubiquitous in our country, that is much more contagious. I know I live in Davis and we have um, identified a couple of cases already of that. So here's one mask that I've created um, and uh, inspired probably by recent events. Um, and so this one here is a, um, is a theme that I've worked on in sculpture. And uh, so I'll give you the full look here. There it is. There's the mask. So I've extended the face down um, by using, this is actually a flag that I purchased online and altered uh, for this mask. And the message being strongly uh, a house divided um, is the implication referring to, of course, the, the famous expression by Abraham Lincoln, that a house divided cannot stand. Um, uh, I think probably for me, uh, bo both as a citizen and as an artist, uh, the need for uh, some kind of a common ground, some kind of unity is clearly there. Uh, the, the next mask I'll show you that I've done um, a little bit more somber. So again, um, let's put this up here and then this one's a little trickier here. And I'll get a little close so you can see what that looks like. And what this is, these are uh, blood sample vials um, that I collected uh, at, a, at a, um, a surplus store years ago and have had around. And what I've done is I've screwed a little eye screw into the cap of each one here. And then um, I inserted uh, inside each one is a photograph of someone who has died from COVID. And uh, I think this was inspired by having conversations with people who felt that masks were not important. And I felt that this, this mask would be a great rebuttal saying, well, you know, these people disagree. Um, so um, that's the, uh, that's 
the kind of the concept of this mask here. So just some ideas, some possibilities. Uh, I look forward to seeing what you come up with. And as always, just send me an email if you have any questions or comments. And I look forward to looking at your results.